everyone, and welcome to the newest episode of The Latest Thread. And this topic today is all about how we like to decorate with our quilt. And we did a special call out to the Gamble Facebook groups and asked for you guys to send in pictures to us of how you decorate with quilts. Because there's only so many quilts you can make for beds, right? <laughs> Until they just keep starting <laughs> to get layered and layered. <laughs> Um, so in some of the smaller quilts, it's nice to be able to decorate with them and it's kind of neat to see how everybody's done some things. So we had some, some good pictures and comments sent in from, uh, from quilters. So thank you so much for helping us with this, this episode. So we're going to do like a little slideshow. There's a few pictures of some of ours in there as well. And we're just hoping this is this episode is just lots like of eye candy, just some visual inspiration for everyone. And uh, let's get started. I'll share my screen. And we are going to start with, hang on one second. One moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, here we go. Share. Everybody can see that now. Okay, so this was sent in from a friend of mine, actually. Her name is Anne, and uh, I do know, she didn't say where she lives, but I do know she is an Albertan, she's in my province. And she said, I saw your post about pictures of how we use quilts as decor. I don't know if these are what you're looking for. Yes, they are. Uh, but I snapped a few I have hanging to decorate my spaces and one of all the quilts that hang in the corner of my living room on the wall. I don't do a lot with wall decor in general in my house, but using the rods and filling them with quilts gives me a place to store the ones that are used for cuddling and use them for a bit of color at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone. So, and here's some of Anne's. Oh, and look, look it. Yeah. She, does Not she get a bonus point for that? Yeah, see what's in there? Mm -hmm. See yep. that little quilting with confidence? No. <laughs> Name tag. I wonder if she didn't know if we'd see that, but we sure did. <laughs> That's <laughs> all. And she even has it on a little sleeve and everything. I like that hanger because that you can switch it out real quick with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It gets a little the bit of room. Look, yeah. Very cool. Yes, indeed. So here's another one from Anne. And we can maybe try and zoom in on that and see some of her pretty quilting. I know Anne plays around with calligraphy and writing on quilts. And mm -hmm. it looks really, really pretty when they're and look at she did we we've got an episode. Uh, or we just did an episode recently on quilting over top of like embroidery and applique. So this this is kind of like an example of quilting, which looks like she cross hatched right over top of that. So that's pretty. It works. It's very pretty. Yeah. And another curtain rod. I've done this too, where you've just got these little clips. Mm -hmm. And did yeah. you know you can get um, little decorative things to hang off of them? So if you yes, go to like, Bed Bath and Beyond or whatever. I'm not sure what you have in there in the States, but here in Canada, we have like the Bed and Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond, I think. Yeah. And you can go into the bathroom department and they have the shower curtain little um, charms that you can hang on your shower curtains that are kind of seasonal. Mm -hmm. So you could get one if you had a beach theme quilt, you could get little seashells to hang on it, or if you had a fall a themed quilt you could get little leaf shapes to put on them and you could get really creative yeah with yeah. those curtain rods and those clamps clip perfectly right over top of the uh, binding binding they yeah. fit right around the binding mm -hmm. yeah yeah they do here's another one well that's a neat quilt i like uh -huh. that. it's so all right is so this looks like no. Pardon? The flower looks dimensional. I want to know if it is. Yeah, I'm going to have to get Anne on speaker. <laughs> I'll have to ask her about it. Um, it it kind of looks raw edge, but it doesn't. It almost it looks almost like separate and then quilted to it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, and this looks like a linen. Yeah, that's really neat. 
Yeah, and she's got some writing in there. So very, Anne is very, very creative lady. And a few more. Nice. If you have them in the living room like that, you could just pull down the one you want to cuddle with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's like, you know, first dibs on the best quilt when you're watching yeah. movies. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is you have to put them back. Like in our TV room, the quilts are just piled everywhere because we, you know, <laughs> we use them and then they just stay piled. But it's very nice if you hang them back up. Nobody else sees our new our movie room but us, though. So. <laughs> Okay, so this one is sent in by Jennifer. She sent in one photo um, with no message. So we're just going to talk about her picture. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like trying to do a carry desk. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. And she's, it looks like she's got their vintage quilts in there. Yeah. They all look kind of vintage. Yeah, they perfectly work with that. They yeah. do. It's a really nice photo. And if you can see, I'll zoom back out in the photo. You can even see, I don't know if there's a quilt on that bed. <laughs> I'm stalking it. Like we're, we're inspecting it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can move it over. Uh, <laughs> You ever see some of those pictures that people take that are selfies and then you can see them doing something funny in the background? You're talking to very much over analyzers here. We look at every <laughs> inch of every picture. <laughs> every detail. I yeah. love this cabinet. So I love this. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, I would love to see what's inside there. Like maybe... You know, like... <laughs> no, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> but um, but you know like a little notepad or it, it looks like you know like an yeah. old library desk yep yep love it very cool okay so that was jennifer cool thank you jennifer and thank you ann and hey who's this oh that's mine well it's not yeah. mine but this is my son's apartment and so when he first moved in he's pretty uh picky he likes what he likes and i knew a quilt isn't what he likes on his bed so I made just that runner because it was just enough so it can be decoration you can take it off you put it oh. on and you know it's amazing how this is what it looked like when I went it's so straight it looks like it's pieced into the brown right it was all on quilt yeah. but when he lived at home yeah the room never was like <laughs> that neat and you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, I love doing those because it's an easy way to decorate and not, you can change it out yeah. if you want. Did you make the pillow? I did. Yeah. Cause it matches the colors. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Very yeah cool. The bed runner thing is pretty, but it wouldn't work for me because my dog sleeps in my bed. My so he's <laughs> lanky at the foot of the mattress. So I wouldn't want to put a white cream colored bed runner on there. No. No. Yeah. No, my dogs would Take totally the bed take runner it. off when you go to bed. Uh that's a or lot does of it work. Stay on. <laughs> well, a lot of work? If you're a sleeper, <laughs> it would just fall off. <laughs> you know, and when we go to a hotel room, I'm the, the first thing I do is rip out the corners of the sheets where they're tucked around the mattress so I'm not all oh, for sure. mummied inside but the bed. You, it doesn't work, though, because if you had the... Um, if you had to happen to share a bed with someone, a large bed, and they do not like to get their sheets untucked. So you have to be very precise and only pull it out up to the middle because if you don't, then this particular yeah. individual named Jody Robinson will correct you immediately. Yeah. And the first thing I do when I go in is take that weird bed runner off the bottom. I'm like, ew. You know, oh, yeah. hide it on the cleaning lady so that she doesn't put it back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but, but you're right, Jody. This is a great way of adding something to, you know, make it yeah. look yeah. 
Jazz is it up just a smidge? So this is mine. This is my Oliver quilt. And some, Joe had gone up hunting in Jersey and he brought me back some pieces of white birch. So I, I can actually change out my white birch because he brought me a few different pieces. But <laughs> I like this one. Mm -hmm. And it just hangs in the corner of my bedroom with my little vintage, little vintage typewriter. That thing's huge. But yeah. It's a That's gorgeous a quilt, Karen. Thank it you. Truly is the detail on that. I learned how to type on that typewriter. Did you? <laughs> I did. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Who who still remembers typewriters? Really? We're typing dating. Class. I collect. Oh no, gosh, I took typing class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to have some major finger strength to type on that. That's oh yeah. Hard. That's cast iron. That thing. It's must weigh like sixty pounds. <laughs> you want some more? I have a couple in my basement that are just sitting there. Put them in your carry-on. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have I have two that I really like. You know, and some like I'll collect and then I get rid of, but you know. This is this was my mom's, so and I like that you used a piece, it looks like birch. My birch. Mm -hmm. Up there. It's it's so fitting. Perfect. Yeah really is okay Aww. this is leanne we can tell by it says quilt me kiwi mm -hmm. and all leanne said was quilty best witches wishes witches <laughs> what? she did not say that <laughs> she said quilty best wishes from new zealand xo xox so let's take a look at her. I love this zebra. It's so colorful. Yeah, it's very the colorful. The zebra's not colorful, but let me see. Yeah, that's yeah. a very yeah. cool quilt. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got a great space there, too. Uh huh. Yeah. And she could even put a, um, a longer quilt on there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Let's see if I can scroll to this part. Gosh, I wish I had space to hang things like yeah. that. Looks really nice. But look at her ceiling too. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. a little bit jealous. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. My ceiling's like right here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say this. So we got a new. This is totally not related, but it's funny. We got a new mattress a couple of months ago, and our old mattress is just leaning up against the wall. We're getting one of those big garbage bins to come and take a bunch of stuff away. And so last night, we decided um, what it would feel like to be like a king and a queen in a really, really tall bed. And we put the mattress on top of the other mattress, and we were so close to the ceiling. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And our big hundred pound dog could barely jump up on top. Why did, why didn't, what made me think of that was I think the ceiling or something. Yeah. Close to the being, oh, being close to the ceiling. Yeah. And we were just laying there like, this is not a good idea. Yeah. So <laughs> it looks nice, you know, those big princess type beds, but I would need a step ladder to get, to get in. So we changed that. So you fall out of one. Yeah. Or you fall out, you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you literally roll onto the floor. So. <laughs> Not a good idea. That's how I sleep on a princess bed. Do you have a tall bed like that? Yeah. Not you by do? per Not I do, but yeah. it wasn't intended. I bought a platform bed because I wanted it to be super low because we have like one of those memory foam mattresses which you don't need a box spring. Right. And my husband's like, "Oh, you have to use the box spring." Uh -huh. So now our what was intended to be a really short bed is like, yeah, super big. The dog was like, <laughs> get up the first time because he was used to the regular way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's pretty, I don't like it. I don't well, like I'm it. in the same boat to the point where I have to lift up my dog. It's a small dog every night because he can't get up on that tall mattress contraption. You need to make a little step where he can walk up and then come around. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just, actually, <laughs> when we put the tile in the bedroom, our dogs couldn't jump on the bed because they couldn't get the traction on the tile because we have right, to, to we jump have, up we have runners next to it so they hit the runner and then jump up yeah <laughs> we're getting sidetracked aren't we yes it's well, okay we this is going to be a shorter <laughs> sorry about that guys 
Okay, so here's some more from Leanne. Uh, okay, oh, that's a neat one. one too. Yeah. Yeah, Tiger. Zoom in on that. Very cool. That is neat. And she's got a little embroidery one up there. Yep. And look that's at that really... pin cushion. You got to zoom in on her pin cushion too. That's attached to a handle. Okay, I'll, I would just um, play with that. Like that would just go. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, she's got it attached to her light bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's it oh, must not nice. tied on to the light bar. That's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and oh, sometimes I miss my classic. Look at that right there. Yeah, right there. I see that all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah. <laughs> I still have a classic, but it doesn't no longer have that now. It, it got, you had it taken off? Well, because it was converted to a Statler. Oh, that's the one that got uh, retrofitted yep. to the Statler, yeah. Yep. Very yeah. cool. Okay, what else? Leanne has a uh, I love that. Oh, sorry. No, this yeah. isn't Leanne anymore. Oh. This is Marilee. And I have a, no information on Mary Lee other than she quilts on a Gamo Premier. Oh. So I love those quilts. I do too. Very cool. I like her piped binding with the gray in there. Look, I have to zoom in with my face. <laughs> zoom in more. I can zoom in more. Now we just we see this big trunk. Can you see the piped oh, binding? Yeah. Oh, it's like a flange. Yeah, I like those. Nice. And that batch worked awesome on that quilt, you know. Very nice. good pattern for it. Yeah, very yes. good for it. Mm -hmm. Good job. That's an awesome quilt. I love that. Mm -hmm. But there for a while, you saw so many of those, you know. Um, and all their variations, but it's striking, I think. Yeah, I, like I need that. to go back for a sec because I think no, that was Leanne. I thought maybe I had a couple of out of order, but um, no, that was I wanted to make sure I had the right person's name. And this is Marilee's other one. Aww. A ladder. You know, what I find interesting is that, you know, if you look at the same person's, you know, different quilts, how their styles vary, you know, and it's okay. You know, there are so many people that make different style quilts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the ladders. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have one. I just don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great way of displaying quilts. Nice. Oh, she's got a double binding too. It huh? does, yeah. Or is that just the oh, it's the same person in the back? Same right? person. I'm gonna there. try. I'll see how far I can get in here without losing. Um, oh yeah, out. that's a flange too. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, she does a nice flange binding. Nice. It looks like it's outside as well. So yeah. I wonder if she just puts this out for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So we're going to take a quick break, uh, spam you with some videos to watch for a minute, and you can come on back and check out some more Quilty Decor photos. Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the micro handles. We are here in Gamel Studio and I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can use them. Okay. So first um, we have them, both micro handles are down um, and I tied off my bobbin. So I'm just going to stitch and when I'm using the micro handles it's more about control. So I like my left hand on the micro handle and my right hand on the upper handle because this will be my push and pull hand and this is my control hand. So now I'm in constant motor and you'll see how you can really control tiny little stitches. Even if you use both hands 
And you don't realize that the, all that weight of the machine, not that it's heavy, but you have insane control with the micro handles. And if you want to start going a little bigger, you can bring your other hand back up again. Just try it out. See the different, how tiny you can go with your stitches, I should say. Just here, it's in my hands, so you can see how tiny I'm using the micro handles. Always going to need something for size relation. You know, as I watched Karen do her video with the micro handles, which I've never really tried, I was wondering um, how it might work for rulers. And I played around a little bit, and it actually works really well. So um, I, I am going to stitch in regulated because for me that works best with a ruler. So I can pause and relocate the ruler if I need to. And um, I like to do ruler work with 14 stitches to the inch. But what I found is that I'm also sitting on a chair. But because the, the handle is so close to the quilt, and the ruler is also right where I need it, you know, everything is so close. And I think the difference is that with the handles, there's a lot more room for movement, where, I, you know, you might have a little bit of jiggle to your lines. But with the micro handles, it just seems that I'm much closer to what I'm actually trying to do. And it really, I really love it for this. Make nice, tiny little lines. It, and it really is um, good control. I did, the one thing I did notice is that in order to use the rulers, whichever hand you use, you would want to flip the other handle up because you want to have room to move your ruler around. But I mean, it really is letting me get in there really close. So if you have a set of the micro handles, I would recommend you definitely give it a try. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us for the second half of our episode, all about quilty decor. So we have a few quilts to show you from Paula, and I'd like to read what Paula wrote in to us. She said, this is just a small sample of what I have around my house and a couple from the travel trailer. Of course, every bed has a quilt on it, every chair has one draped over it, and many more are hanging on my walls, not to mention my design wall waiting to be quilted. I'm intrigued. Her design wall waiting to be quilted? So Paula is going to need to follow up with a photo for us, I think. Don't you agree? She's going to quilt <laughs> her design wall? Do you guys get that? I don't get that. How is she going to quilt it? And then how is stuff going to stick to it? On the design wall? Maybe she has a quilt on her design wall that's waiting to be quilted. Yeah. Hmm. Many more hanging on my walls, not to mention my design wall. Okay. I yeah. just read the wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, moving on. I do a lot of Laura Heine, is that how you pronounce it? Like Laura Heine or Laura Heine? collage pieces as a break from quilts. And that's what this little box is right there. Uh, some people, I love this. Some people have expensive masterpieces in their homes. I have priceless masterpieces in my home. Awesome. I love that. Nice. Thanks for doing this. My name is Paula and I live in Vancouver, Washington. A one year owner of an Elevate and I love being a part of the Gamble family. Can we zoom let's in? Zoom. Yes. Okay, so let's take a zoomed in look at this little guy or girl and check oh, it out. Cool. Oh, I, I love those quilts. They're really, I love that, how you cut all those pieces up and make it look like that. Yep. But I was just thinking, I do like 
them. There's some cool patterns, but I don't think I ever, ever could do one to find the right pieces to get that effect. It would be way too stressful for me to try you to get it. You have to have a lot of variety to put one piece <laughs> together. You have to put, you have to have like three times as much as what you're going to actually use in the piece because you're going to substitute yeah. and play around and then you're going to have a bunch of leftovers that you'll want to make another one with. So, so like, yeah. do they just use fat quarters? Like, I don't ever buy a fat quarter. I buy like three yards. That's my minimum. So do they like use fat quarters with this? Fat quarters and scraps because you just, you're just looking for those little pieces, right? So if it's a, yeah. if it's a big yard piece of yardage, you're going to have a big you know, a chunk cut out of it mm -hmm. to get that because you're fussy cutting everything. So um there are shops that 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 kit up these kinds of things and will give you smaller pieces like maybe 10 inch squares mm -hmm. instead of bigger pieces but they'll ask if you buy a fat quarter bundle from those kinds of shops they will give you ones that are specifically selected to have those big floral prints like cape facets yeah yeah those <clears throat> and so they'll they'll choose them for you and then, then you just Iron the whole thing down to fusible and just cut out as much as you can from the piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you think, yeah. and it's bit. funny. I think it would be kind of hard because when you're looking at it close, it's not yeah. as distinct as when you're zoomed away from it. Mm -hmm. It, You know what I mean? So making it, you're close to it. But when you're looking at it from farther back. Yeah, that's one of those ones you'd like have to take a picture of with your phone and then look yeah. at it on your phone. Yeah. yeah. I like and down it. here on the quilt now, rack. You, now you see the nose is very defined, the long mm -hmm. nose on the fox, whereas when you see in the eyes and when you zoomed in, it was no longer defined. Yeah, mm -hmm. it blends more. Yeah. And I think I recognize this as looks like a gypsy wife quilt. Mm-hmm. That one. I that used one. to have a quilt rack just like that, but I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> yeah. I have two just like down in my storage because I just same same thing, nowhere to put them. All right, here's another one. This looks like it's inside her travel trailer. Mm -hmm. How cute is that? Look and it looks that. like it's a wall hang because she's got little yeah. tabs there. That's utterly adorable. That is. So instead of her cutting out a flower out of uh, the fabric, she's cut a, an actual flower petal shape from mm -hmm. flowered fabric. That's cool. It's cute. That is super mm -hmm. cute. You know, mm -hmm. and, and people that make these little things, you know, you can get it accomplished in a fairly short amount of time, I would imagine. Then you feel like you did something, you know? Yeah, this one looks like it would have been pretty quick because she wouldn't have had a ton of cutting like some of the other ones that are so intense. Yeah. Cute. Very cool. Oh, there's another one. See if we can zoom in on this. Oh, look at the, the mountains with the, the, the quilting design. That is cool. Huh. It looks like the mountains. The design yeah. turned into the mountains. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, very cleverly quilted. Perfect. Done. And um, let's see. We have more from her in her travel trailer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. bees. Beehives and sunflowers. That's a perfect quilting design on there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, gosh, I wish I had places to put all my quilts now that I see everyone else's. I know. <laughs> looks cozy and this is another one from Paula we're still on Paula's quilt oh I love that that is oh, really, really print behind it yeah that is really pretty yeah. it looks like wool the birds oh. maybe not but it looks like it they look like I it they do look like <laughs> <laughs> he's checking on the others Very cool. Yeah, it's really dimensional. Like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, cool. But that newsprint fabric was a great choice. Yeah, so right. unexpected, really, but it works really well. Mm -hmm. And she's even used it on her binding. Ah, mm -hmm. 
as you can see some of that writing in there. That's neat. Very cool. Love these pics. Little one hanging over the back of the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Pat. And we have one picture from Pat, and I know nothing about Pat. So thank you, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Except she has a cat. Yes, she and does he have likes cat. it likes quilts as well. Yes. <laughs> Pat a kitty approved, right? All right, so let's take a look. Oh, she's done some nice quilting on this one too. Yeah. Good for you, Pat. It looks really nice. I love I've that. Seen, oh, yeah, oh. some of those dimensional looking. I don't know what the name of that is. Some optical illusion. Some it's very matchy-matchy. That fits in my world. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the kitty. Aww. Mm -hmm. Sound asleep. Yep. And it looks like out of a Civil War sampler. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect place for kitty. Very nice. Okay. What else have we got here? Oh, I think this is another one from Paula. It's just out of order. So let's oh, come in to this one. So I don't know if this is a McKenna Ryan or not, but it could be. Well, it's a similar style anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But look at the color, how vibrant yeah. all the color is in that. And then yeah, really it's a lot of texture in her border. It's the purple mountain. Mm -hmm. That's the majesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the colors are great. Yep. Awesome. This is like having a, like a little tour through other people's houses that we can't go into right now. <laughs> <laughs> Something outside of our own house. We should yes. have asked for pictures of other stuff too. <laughs> the fridge, <laughs> next the fridge, the pantry. Next Check the time. snack section in the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're bad. <laughs> uh, there's some ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> okay, so here's wow. a few, few of mine. Um, this I, I I wanted to show the. It's just the the curtain rod with that same concept of the little hooks that not even a hook but just a little clamp that clips on top of the uh, binding and I use that um, to display quilts when there's not a customer quilt hanging but it's a really good spot to take pictures mm -hmm. of customer quilts when they're finished because when these blinds are open and the sun is on that side of the house then you get just a nice side lighting coming in on them mm -hmm. but um, those those curtain rods are so easy to to use and I have another one on top of an old seamstress model singer that I picked up at an antique store and uh, it houses my quilt clips and a little iron on the side and stereo for music and there's a little flange in that binding too cool and those little churn dash box, Karen, just for you, those are three inches. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and this is right behind me. Hey. Where I'm sitting right now. And I wanted to share, because you can, like the quilt is flat up on the wall. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to share what I use because um, if you use, you can't, you, want, you don't want to use like nails or anything because it's going to damage your quilt. So these are um, made by Clover, and I know there are more companies that make them. I don't know if, how well you can see this. It's a glass head applique pin. Mm -hmm. So the glass head is nice because um, I, I'll hold it with my fingers and just tap it in with a hammer into the wall, and it doesn't bend very easily because of the glass head on top. So it's nice and sturdy, and the pin doesn't damage the quilt at all. So when I take a quilt down for a reason, like if I'm going to do a trunk show and that has to come with me, then I'll take these pins right out, pull the quilt away, and then just take the pin and put it right back into the little tiny hole in the wall. And they really don't leave much of a hole. Like you really have to be like 
right in front of it to be able to see um, the little mark that's there. So it's a nice you know thing. What, you know what works even really well is your old machine needles. So when oh, I change yeah. my needle, I save them all because they're really easy to hammer. Oh, yeah. And in. Good and I just point. go right through the quilt. Yeah. You know, because it, it's been through it already. <laughs> <laughs> that is so smart. That's yeah. how all those ribbons are held up. Your little <laughs> pins. Mm -hmm. Is your little pins or machine needles? Little pins. Yeah. The little pins. Yeah. And, and I didn't buy these because I applique, because I do not applique. I only bought them for hanging quilts. <laughs> And here's a teeny tiny ladder for you, Jody. Oh my goodness. This is that a is, teeny tiny quilt? It is a tiny quilt. Um, as you come down from my second story, uh, there's a, a spiral staircase that comes down to the main floor of the front door. And this is the view from the top of that set of stairs. Oh, that's nice. And yes, I just re recently decorated this, but I'm going to try to zoom in the little, little quilt the little tiny ladder that ladder is mm, it's only like four feet tall oh wow and it was 25 bucks so it's not that tiny then that's actually four it's foot pretty foot. small for a ladder well, well but you climb up it because you might be two feet taller <laughs> no and it's only like this wide so it might even be less than four feet but um those little strips in the log cabin are half inch finish. Yeah. Wow. It's like a perfect for those people that make the quilts for the American Girl dolls and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that would be perfect for that. Very cool. And one more. This is 60 by 60. And I made it before I knew how to do much quilting. Um, so it's just got a big cross hatch and echoed in here and it's not even quilted that's not even quilted in there and i did not applique that a friend of mine applique that square because i don't and then there's um i really like that little piping and but it's in the border between the border and the blocks instead of the binding on this one sometimes you look at the quilts that you've done a long time ago and you think should i go load that and put more quilting do you guys ever think that? I yeah, but it never happens. <laughs> never do it, but I think a lot. Yeah, think about it, but it just doesn't <laughs> like, happen. <laughs> like altering time to me. Like that's what I knew when I made that quilt, and it should just stay that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's neat to look back at your old ones. Yeah. 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 Like I have um, one of my very first couple of quilts. I still have them, and they're just they're tucked in a suitcase for only nostalgia. You know, it would be a cool episode would be if we showed like our first, I don't know, like maybe the first four or five quilts, like ones that show a big, you know, like your first one to your next one, kind mm -hmm. of your progression. Oh what yeah. Cool. Couple have been dogged. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not mostly all of mine, but... But do you have know. pictures of them before they got dogged? I, I, uh, I have to look. I Possibly. Just, uh, we should might see be, what we have. I think that's a good idea, Jody. Uh, it would be neat. I wouldn't have hardly anything. Actually, my first quilt that I quilted, it's, I no longer have it. It was a gift to my brother. So, But I think that would be another great episode to encourage others to send some Maybe pictures. Like, so maybe after. yeah yeah like the five the years earliest ago. one that you have a picture of mm -hmm. and your the last sure. book you made would be kind of cool because so, it probably wouldn't just be you know that the workmanship has changed the level of workmanship but also how did your style evolve if any you know between for sure you know, time periods so some of us don't have style. We just make what's on our mind. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. But some of us have a very specific style, you know, and that's pretty much all they're doing now. But maybe that, you know, like Jody, you used to make different quilts. I mean, I'm not saying 
totally traditional, but a different style anyhow. Even just considering your fabric choices, how that has changed for you. So I think it would be interesting to see. And I would say that's everybody. I would certainly hope someone didn't start making something and they're still making the same thing 25 years later. But you know what I mean? That would be the interesting part in the story Mm -hmm. behind it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, even if you didn't have a picture of one of those quilts to show, just to talk about the mm-hmm. how you you evolved. Yeah. So Ava, we didn't see a picture of anything uh, quilty decor in your house. I box. don't decorate really. But can you tell us what's behind day. you? But I do have a quilt hanging, and that's the same than what we talked about earlier, which is like a decorative curtain rod, and, you know, it's pretty long. And then it has the clippy things on there because it works well. I actually have four quilts hanging out there on the same rod, and then I have some nice cabinets like the one behind me. I have several of those, and I do keep the quilts some quilts in there because it just looks pretty. That's pretty much the extent of my decorating with quilts, so. <laughs> you have a nice cabinet there too, though. Yep. It's a nice wooden one. Um, I have several. My husband used to be a mover, and some people that he moved didn't want to have their, some of their furniture anymore. So that's how I got my cabinets. And the bad part is that they're all different woods, so you can't put them together. So you have to sporadically place them throughout different areas. But they're great because they're solid wood, you know, and it's just I like- love glass cabinets, you know, the glass doors on it. So I think it's, it's nice to have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we are so thankful that you all sent in your pictures to us to share. Thank you so much for letting us take a peek into your lives, your homes, and your decorating style. And um, we really, really appreciate that. So thank you for, for doing that. And thank you for watching another episode with us. And we will see you the next time on the latest thread. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.